So tell us how you got started in dogs. Well, my beginnings in dog were that my parents and I, we acquired um, a basset hound. Well, that basset hound was kind of unruly, so my parents required that I train it, and so I went to my first obedience classes, which ended up being with a fellow named Bill Keeler. He, of course, is the fellow who trained all the Walt Disney animals. Developed a relationship with him, and I worked for him in my later high school and junior high school days. That's really fortunate to meet somebody so qualified and skilled, and, and, and then you can learn from. He was a great trainer. And you've been in dogs your whole life. This is your life. It has been my life, yes. I've dedicated my whole life to dogs and to the sport of purebred dogs specifically. Yeah. Right, and I know that obviously you're a breeder, but you're also an author and a lecturer on many subjects related to purebred dogs. Absolutely, it's my passion. You know, one of the greatest things I think dogs have taught me is about their tenacity. You know, many people, including myself, when someone says no, you like go, mm, okay, that's a setback. Well, a dog goes, you say no to them, and they go around you to the next person. Do you have food? <laughs> and that's what we need to do, is we is we need to take every no and turn it into a yes. And, and dogs do that, don't they? I mean, their, their tenacity and their outgoingness and their love for life. Even my own experience, I came from a very, perhaps even lower middle class family of, of means, and I devoted myself, and I was given that opportunity by many people on my way up and enjoying the sport and I appreciate that so much, but even in all of that, I, I discovered that anybody who really wants to do it can do it, and they can do it well. And that's why I love the dog sport, is because you can just go and show your dog, and the objective is to have a, the best dog identified on the day, and, and that's what it should all be about. Right.